Growing up, I used to love professional wrestling. I watched it religiously. But nowadays, I don't watch it much anymore because I eventually got burnt out of watching it. Every now and then, my brother sends me uh, clips on YouTube of wrestling matches that are much crazier back in the day compared to what it was now. And what we're acting to today is one of them. This one in particular got me very curious. So let's watch it together. Now, the title of this video is Mini Toyota seemed to bent on killing herself during the 90s. Now, I know the reputation of female wrestlers in Japan. And let me be the first to tell you, for what I've seen, they don't play. I'm surprised I never heard of uh, Ninami to uh, Toyota. I did a little research uh, saying that um, she made her debut in August of 1987, but then retired in 2017. So I uh, don't know much about her, but if there's any like interesting facts about uh, this wrestler in particular, let me know down in the comments. Okay, pause. Uh, just like quick, I wasn't aware at the time of making this video, but after upon further research afterwards, it turns out that Minami Toyota is also a playable character in the Nintendo 64 wrestling game, WCW vs. NWO World Tour. However, due to obvious legal reasons, her name was localized into Black Widow. Don't share this little tidbit with you, but back to the video. L, watching this, it's for you. And a three, two, one, let's jam. Thank God for the mats. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Uh, damn. Mind you, this is a one minute compilation, not even 10 minutes in. But do you see that shit? I mean, let's run back at a few. Like, that was so. Oh. That was disgusting. Face first or wooden floor. Fuck. Oh. Oh. Ooh, damn. I know I, I know I know I already said this, but women wrestlers in Japan don't play. Regardless of what era, what territory, you know, what year, you know. But damn, like she just be hit. She hit, hit her face in the, on the face and turf buckle. Ugh, that shit's brutal. Let's run that back. See that shit? Why right on the fucking turnbuckle? Ooh, nice catch. Ouch! Ooh, luckily she didn't hit the back of that rail though. Oh! Damn, is this the Minari Toyo laying her head in the in the side of ring edition? God damn. Oh shit! Nice double drop kick. Yeah, she's definitely a high flyer. Oh 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 Ooh, that, ooh, that, mm. Let me, let me, let me run that back a few and, uh, play that shit again in slow motion. So give me a sec. Uh, look how she landed on her head. Ooh, snap back too. Oof. It's good saying she retired, cause at 51 years old, she was doing that shit now. Uh I don't want to think of the worst. Real talk. Like, that's real fucked up. Ooh! Ow, the, she didn't hit it in her mouth. Her prostate does hurt, but it's also a dream job. Man. Dirty years, uh, a dirty year wrestling premiere, taking out those bumps. And all those drops. Ooh. Miss Toyota don't play. 
not much to say, but um, while not the most uh, while not the most graceful high flyers for I've seen, I say she's among the toughest, you know, because like you no, know, laying on the letting, uh, laying on the floor, missing the mat, laying on the side of, of the uh, ring. Ugh. Hmm. Wrestlers have to be careful about what they perform, you know, especially in the States. But Japan, you know, there's no limits, you know. But enough about that. What y'all think of the video? And what other wrestling videos I should react to next? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, if you want to see more, then leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and turn on that notification bell so you won't miss another video. As always, this is one no idiot child child telling y'all to take care of yourselves, be good to each other, and as always, keep it locked.